I'm glad you said that because that is really my point. If you're in California, you need to look up your city, your county's minimum wage to make sure you're good. Welcome back, folks. It's another episode of It's About Payroll. It's about your paycheck. Um, shoot, we're up to 129 on It's About Payroll and episode 40 on It's About Your Paycheck. And if you're wondering, yes, at some point we will split this off and there will be separate episodes. But sometimes it's, it just makes sense to do one. And this is one of those things we think. You tell us. But before we get into all that, what's up, Walt? What's up? What's up with you, man? I'm good. What's up, William? Wait, it's Walter William. Yes, I never get it right. Yeah, Walter William Buckley III. Walter William. You be like, you, you be like William, William Walt the third. Cause, it's cause I always back. get confused. Cause like it, your name is Walter William, but then at one point you was like, no, nah, I don't go by William. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that must be his first name. So it's William Walter, nah, but it's really Walter no. William the third, the Duncan, the third WD three. You know what I mean? Yep. WD. What's yeah, good, man? man. Nothing much. No, I'm, I'm good, bro. Just grateful. Sending that gratitude again. Good, Just man. That's a great focus, ready to go. How about you, man? I'm doing the same, doing the same, man. It's just, it's, it's definitely a season of change. It's transition. Yeah, it's definitely a season of transition. Who knows? Who knows? Who yep. knows, guys? So, hey, sometimes life in general will have you speeches and just, hey, it is what it uh, is. Yeah, so many. It's just, just, just the way it goes. My man. life for the last almost a year now has been like, I think of Oprah saying, you can have it all, but not all at once. So it's so Okay. Is things like folks, we when we like share stuff, it's because we're going through it, right? We are not at a point Whoa. where we can look. We could give some people some advice because we are successful yeah. in our own right. But yeah, like we we I don't think we say it enough. We're not talking at folks. We're talking with y'all, right? We're relating. We're, we're relate. We're we're sharing our experiences and mm -hmm. sharing our struggles. Current and through past. payroll, through your paycheck, through these conversations. Yep. We just say, yep, present, future, past, who knows? Mm. But yeah, so I don't want, I, I like, I don't, because I, I don't want ever folks to be like, who do they think they are? Nobody, really. We don't think we're not, we don't think we're anybody. We, Brian and Walt, that's who we think we are. Well, and then with, hopefully with AI, we can be like Minority Report and predict hero prophecy ahead of time. My son just, my, my son would just brought up something about, so there's some going at some rap artists because they accused them of, of, of using AI. But I was like, wait, the, the, he used AI for his own voice. And apparently he may not have the facts, right? But I was like, I don't think there's a problem with that. I was like, the problem is somebody right. taking our voices and trying to use it right. in, in yeah. their game. Yes. That's the problem. Yeah. Taking other art, like how that Drake, mm -hmm. what was it? Drake and somebody, Kendrick, Kendrick they write that. I wonder if that sparked yeah, the beef. Did beef. that spark the beef? I don't, know what what, I don't even know beef. what sparked the beef, right? Who cares? They just got record sales and record streams and all that. As long as they don't take yep. it to real life, rap beef is cool. Rap battling mm -hmm. is part of the culture. Just don't make it Biggie Tupac thing where it got real and we lost two of the greatest MCs, two of the greatest hip hop artists that will mm -hmm. ever be. That was senseless. That was unnecessary. You know what I mean? Oh my world. God. Speaking of hip hop, by the way, if we were talking real quick. I just saw Piece by Piece. It's a Lego movie, but it's mm -hmm. Pharrell Williams' documentary. Oh, wow. Yep. He, That's cool. Bro, it's go see it with wifey. You will love it. I think you will love it. I think wow. you will absolutely okay. enjoy it. I saw, I took the kid. Like, I was the one that prompted it because I saw the preview for it. And I was like, oh, I want to see this. I'm the one I seen a trailer or anything. Because you know what it is. I'm being kids' movies. So uh, I saw okay, the trailer okay, okay. at one of the other kids' movies that we went to see. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. mark that on the calendar. We're going to see that. And sure enough. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm going to check that oh, out. Mad underrated. It's not, it's definitely not getting the love that it should be getting as a Lego movie, as a hip hop movie. Because it's everything's about Diddy. Oh, the my God. You see All the distractions man. of things. Yeah, yeah. Man, man. Forget him, bro. Like, who can, really who and that's what my wife was saying she's distractions babe distractions i was like because everything is diddy like all the uh, everything on the feed is come on you know because I mean? because oh. the part that is 
just because we brought it up, we haven't talked about it on the show yet. The part that I would definitely not condone support in any way is any underage type of things, right? I'm yeah. a father of daughters. Like I, if you were doing that as you deplorable, like you horrible, you deserve every minute in jail that, you know, even with mm-hmm. males, but no matter who, no matter who, yeah. Oh God. No, no matter the, like that age thing is horrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. But his sexuality, if it's just a matter of his sexuality, then yeah, hey, clearly he was in the closet, I think, is what they're saying. I haven't gotten dug into any of it. I'm just, it's nonsense to me, other than the yeah. illegal, illegal activity. He needs to go, but he clear, and if he's in jail, clearly they had enough to put him away. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, yeah, you got to pay your time, kid. Sorry, you were a predator just like Hollywood and how they talk about the casting couch and all the horrible things that yeah, people man. in power do. You know what I mean? I, I think it's karma. I think, hey, you do the crime, you got to do the time. If karma comes back to you one way or another, and that's what it is. Agreed, man. And, man, look, with that, we're going to segue. Yes. We we're talking about, you mentioned Tupac. So today's topic is going to be about... <laughs> California. We don't have a uh, producer, folks. So we're our own, like, we're going to have to start throwing our own sound bites. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Going back to Cali. Yeah. People would love that. Yeah. Yep. Oh, gosh. There's so many. Anywho, yes, we are talking about California minimum wage today. We're getting it and just give you give employees enough to be armed and dangerous and savvy yep. with information. We want to em- empower mm-hmm. y'all with information and resources and the tools and the savviness to go out there, find more information, do the research in the right spots, go look at the right things, yes. right? You Look, this the topics that we talk about are so, how, how can I say, so big. There's so much information and in everything that we only hope to give you enough to go get you fired up and, and research yeah. in the right places and learn the right things. We want to spark, we want to spark that interest. We want to spark right? that interest to be like, oh, what they say? Hold on. Let me go do my yeah. on the phone every anyway, right? We have the most powerful mm-hmm. tool in the world in our hands. Mm-hmm. I get so frustrated in my kids when they ask me questions because I'm like, you literally have a computer in your hand. You ain't even got to oh. type. You could just ask Siri. Come on. You have magic in you your hands. You have magic in your hands. Come on. What are you asking me for? Bro, just... Google it. Nope. Siri it. So, anywho, we're going to get into Cali minimum wage. But before that, we have some pay news to help and to drop and little nuggets here and there. Because we like current events. We like news. Stay informed. Yep. And, of, so what you got and of course, how, I, don't know, I don't know what the word is, but as always, we find the, the, this common we're in sync. in sync, even when we're yep. not in sync. Because Walt, we we prep, but we don't talk about every moment and every article that we're gonna go pull. So I, we mm-hmm. both pulled fast food articles to have that have to do with California. Mine is the about the fast food minimum wage that happened in California in the last year. Employers were like up in arms because of this new minimum wage. How could this be? We're gonna lose our business. It's going to kill the industry blah, because they don't, they balked at having to pay their workers more money. Heaven forbid you have to pay them a fair wage. You know what I mean? But survey says that none of those things happen. So all these business owners said, oh, because the minimum wage is going to go up for fast food workers, I'm actually going to, we're going to lose workers. We're going to lose business. Our business is going to die. Right now that may have happened for some business. It definitely did. Yeah. It definitely did. Yep. It happened for some, but those are going to be businesses that are on the fringe of collapse anyway. You know what I mean? The pandemic got rid of those businesses that were just like on the fringe, right on the cusp mm-hmm. of staying in business or going out of business. So that means you, you were about to, you were one thing away from going to business, going out of business anyway. And this just happened yeah. to be that thing, right? Look, I'm a student of business and I get seemingly cold about how it plays out because I just understand the business of it all. And I get there are people on the other side of it. I get it, but it's business is business. It's one of the first things we learned in business school was business ethics is an oxymoron. So it doesn't always click like morality and the thing like it should, but when you go by business, it, it's not always going to take care of the people. So anywho, there are some companies that had did 
go out of business because they couldn't afford to pay their people the $20. I think it was $20 an hour or something that it went up to in California just for fast food workers. Okay. But the opposite happened. They just added more jobs in the most recent survey. Like they're up. So go fix. There you go. What's yours about, man? Mine is about something that happened at Taco Bell. Oh, my fave. Not, so there was a franchisee who owned a couple of Taco Bells and Subways in Northern California. Okay. What happened is that they cheated over 230 workers out of $4 million in wages. What? Yeah. How? So they, they, did they say how? Yeah. So the scheme involved them paying their employees below the minimum wage, the nine overtime, and making illegal deductions for meal breaks and cash shortages. Many of them didn't speak English as it were immigrants and they were threatened with uh, de- deportation or getting fired. So they, they had illegal out. people working there too? Look, Maybe on some visas, work visas. Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't know everything, Ooh. but look, they, they tried to uh, multiple so they, here. Yeah. The per- they also falsified payroll records. Oh my God. Um, but, it, but it was one worker. It was that one worker. What do we always say? You speaking up. That's right. You may be that one domino that's that right. starts that chain. That's right. Events. Yep. That one worker stood up and reported it to their local workers' rights center. Nice. And it sparked an investigation. Nope. And they found out that employees had been, were earning less than $5 an hour after deductions in California. Oh, that's... Wait, but wait, but wait, there's one more it's thing more. that I really think is the shocker, is the big twist here. So after the investigation, they found out that this person was tied to organized crime oh, and, hu- and human trafficking. Oh. And so that some of the workers, because some of the workers had been trafficked into the U.S. and forced to work under the threat of violence. So by oh, the end of 2020, God. the operators faced criminal charges and were ordered to pay millions in back wages. Mm. So the articles are going to be in the, the show notes and stuff. But I found that fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, it's so on point, on point with what we're talking about. Yeah, that's crazy, man. We keep Ooh. finding this stuff. I swear to God, folks, we thought one day we were like, we're not going to find enough content in this arena. There's no way people are just going to continue to make, commit crimes. Commit these same Make their own crimes, crimes and do these same no. hero fraud. Wire fraud. It's not enough. No. Ghost employees, cow. That temptation. It's, it's the that temptation. temptation. It comes back to that Wrong. temptation to kill you every time. Oh, oh man. man. Oof. Before we get into it, let's pay some bills here. Shout out to Time Track. All right. Time Track Go. Let's get it. All right. Are you tired of manual employee time tracking and error prone payroll processes? Discover how Time Track Go can revolutionize your payroll and HR departments. That should be a, a word. The error prone payroll po- processes say it five times fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like we, whoa, whoa, whoa. We, no, no, this is fine, bro. What I thought about when I read it the first time, I was like, oh, man. We could loosen it up a little bit. So we just did. And um, Time Trico is having an upcoming webinar next Tuesday, October 29th at 2 p.m. Eastern to learn more about the fight. What's up? Yeah. But by the time you hear this, it's going to be Tuesday. Oh, actually, be next yes. Tuesday. When you hear this, it'll be like Tuesday, that Tuesday. Yes. So get mm-hmm. on it. They're having a webinar. Time Track Go. The link to register will be in the show notes. And it's also in the post when we post it wherever. But it's also in the show mm-hmm. notes. And so anywho, the webinar is going to cover a few different things. They're going to cover employee tracking for hourly and salary employees. They're going to cover streamlined payroll integration because it integrates with mostly, I think, every system. They're going to talk about the powerful mobile app that they have also with the geofencing capabilities. They're going to talk about accurate PTO tracking and time off requests, all which you can do in the time track go system. They're going to use, they're going to talk about how you can use an ordinary tablet to do modern pay payroll employee time tracking. And last but not least automatic holiday pay calculations, which we all know we need help with because sometimes it's manual and you don't want to have to do manual. We want to automate this stuff. You want to automate, you want to automate as much as you can. Shout out to Time Track Go. Yep. Again, this webinar is Tuesday, October 29th at 2 p.m. Eastern. The link is going to be in our show notes, or you can go visit timetrackgo.com, and you can go on Facebook and LinkedIn to register as well. Let's go. Let's go. go. All right. All right, folks. Now 
we are talking about the money, literally always the money, mm -hmm. California minimum wage. And one of the things that like that I wanted to share with about California minimum wage is it's complexity by like mm -hmm. they, they get granular by city. So yep. I'll start you off here. Here we go. On May, on, on May 1st. Well, I don't know why I say May 1st. On January 1st, 2024, the beginning of this year, California initiated, instituted a minimum wage of no less than $16 per hour, regardless of the size of their employer. Whoa, that's big too. Holy cow. So let me point, let me, let's talk about that for a, a quick a moment because oh. employees may not get it. You don't, you don't pay attention to it when you're an employee. Yeah. Some states break it minimum wage down by the size of the employer. Meaning if you're mm -hmm. that small mom and pop, you got four employees and blah, blah, blah. Hey, maybe you can stick to the federal minimum wage. Okay. But if you're a large employer or mid-size employer, depending on how the state breaks it down, then you have to abide by certain rules. Mm -hmm. Hallie said, it does not matter what size you are, $16 an hour minimum across the state uh, since January 1st of 2024. So if you are in California and you work as a W-2 employee, okay, let me qualify that. If you're a 1099 mm -hmm. contractor, mm, you make your own rates. There are different things for 1099 contractors. This does not apply. This yeah. is a W-2 employee anywhere in the state, any company in the state, as long as you're working legally, you are entitled to $16 per hour. Here's the catch that I was so excited to share. There are over 40 variables in the state of California, meaning there are 40 locales, state, city, county, that pay at different rates, different minimum wage, a different, thank you, a different minimum wage. And for instance, let me see if I can go here real quick. I'm just going to throw out a couple yeah. examples, right? For instance, in Berkeley County, it's $18 and 67 cents minimum wage. Yeah. In Cupertino, yeah. seven, seven, 17, 75 minimum wage. Yeah. LA, 1678. San Francisco's eighteen oh seven. I have seventeen seventy eight for for LA. Oh wow! Okay, you see what well, I'm saying. But yeah. see, I'm glad you said that because that is really my point. If you're in California, you need to look up your city, your county's minimum wage to make sure you're good. And let's clarify even mm -hmm. one qualify even one step further. It's where you work, right? You may live in LA, but you work in Cupertino. That's probably not realistic, but. You live in one and work in another. It's going to be where you work in that yeah. the minimum wage is, right? So you can't be like, oh, my, the city I live in is more. No, the company is, that's where it's the minimum wage, okay? So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. If you're a Cali and you're a, a, an employee in California, you can look up the, the minimum wage. And guess what? Berkeley.edu has a awesome breakdown. It will be in the show mm -hmm. notes county a city and county minimum wage ordinances there are over 40 in california okay it's not only the state it's broken down by county and city so yeah because previously with the minimum wage I'm, I'm so glad you said that about the differences right yep. because they they changed yes. it historically so i think 2022 it was the year before they changed it because 2023 is when they made it level that no matter what size employer you were going to be paid like 15 50 but before that there was a dollar difference. So if you worked at in 2022, if you worked at an employer that had 25 employees or less, that was $14 an hour. If you had 26 or more, that was $15 an hour, right? Yep. So you would have to know as the employee, hey, how many people do you have working right. here? And I'm only getting paid this right. much. That's a problem. Exactly right. Oh, that's a great call out too. Cause remember Tabitha Brown was on and she said she was paying at the time when she had her restaurant, she was paying her workers way up, like way above the minimum wage wow. yep. and then kind of Cali caught up and started paying more as well. So yep. yeah, no, it, and that's why that's, that was my whole point is it could be so mm -hmm. different. Make sure you're looking at accurate information. Make sure the mm -hmm. website that you use is 
even though I called out Berkeley's website, you use that to double check it. Hey, Berkeley's yeah. saying that Los Angeles is this. Let me go look at Los Angeles City's government's website, minimum wage. That's where the truth, cool. that's like the record of truth is the city's website, not another mm -hmm. website. Shout out to Berkeley for doing this because it's a dope and it looks yeah. very up to date. But you double check it, especially if you're trying to go to your employer and you're going to say, hey, you're not paying me properly. You want to definitely reference a, uh, something that they have to abide by as well. Yeah, and, and look for the employee, right? Just like in that example that I gave earlier about Taco Bell, the, the franchisee that was paying, was uh, short paying the immigrants and not mm -hmm. the non-citizen or immigrant employees. Even if you are an immigrant employee, you still have certain rights too. Yep, absolutely. Right to be paid. Absolutely. So, absolutely. Yeah. So just employees, before I let you, before Walt shares the employer piece, I'll let you know as an employee, check your pay stubs, look at, look at your rates. Look, and then Cali has a very strict, oh, we, we should do that too. What has to be on a pay stub in Cali? Yes. Let's do that. And then, so one is check your pay stub. Two is report violations. If your employer, you're employed, politely go to the employer. I would try, hey, I would say, hey, politely go to your employer first. And if they're not responding, report them. And then the last thing, stay informed about the wage increases in your, yes. where you are. And it could be just a matter of stay informed. Could be like, hey, look it up every yep. now and then. Hey, you know what? Let me check yep. the, it's been a while. Let me check the minimum wage, make sure it didn't go up or not. Yes, That's sir. it. And look, as the employer, you want to make sure that you're doing the same thing, right? Because this is a change yep. that occurred, right? It used to be one way a couple of years ago, and now it's different. Mm -hmm. Like Brian had alluded to, no matter what the employer size is, the state minimum wage is now Crazy. $16 an hour as of 2020, January 1st, 2024, right? So you want to make sure and do your research as the employer, just like the employee should do. You want to see what local jurisdiction you are in because they may enforce a higher local minimum wage. Yep. And employers need to comply or that with that, yep. right? You either comply or you fry. Right? <laughs> I love so, it. You know what I'm saying? Well, comply like, or fry. Yeah. By 2025, California's minimum wage is expected to continue increasing based on inflation. Oh, dang. So that was, the, yeah, that was determined by California's Department of Finance um, during their annual assessment. So you want to make sure that you're aware of this as an employer and account for any potential increases in, um, in your budgeting and your payroll processes. Yeah. So what are those key considerations? Compliance, as I just said, comply or fry. That's with both state and local wages, right? I love it. Comply or Those fry. laws. Yeah. And then wage compression. Mm. Challenges that occur as wages ri rise, right? So you may need to adjust wages for higher paid employees to maintain equitable pay structures. I just learned about wage compression this past year, by the way. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Me too. But you want to conduct constant payroll audits. That's something you want to do anyway. As yes. An employer, if you're right. right. Yeah. If you're the employer, Is you're the pay payroll pro, there should be audits yep. on your schedule. Yep. You want to you make sure that whether you're in HR or payroll, some, somebody should be doing this audit to ensure that employees are being paid yeah. in accordance with the law. Right. And you want to anticipate any increased costs in overtime, right? And any other wage-based benefits that are tied to the minimum wage levels, right? So these are all things that you want to make sure that you're addressing as the employer, right? And look, because as, if you're not doing right by the employees, eventually somebody's going to, you're going to get the right one there. When I would say that, you, the right one's going to show up and they're going to report everything. Yep. And you're going to have to do it anyway. And you're going to take a Potentially, the, as a business, you may take a blow to your company's reputation and people not, might not want to work for you or anything like that. Yep. And it may impact the business. So just do the right thing now. Yeah. Yeah. No, karma you know is a mother effort, man. Like, it'll come back to you yep. for sure. It sure will. Yep. Nice. All right. We're going. With that being said, we're going to end it out with our safe talk question. Safe talk. Yep. And then, yeah. So is California's annual inflation-based minimum wage adjustment enough to ensure that employees can keep up with the state's high cost of living, or do we need to a more proactive approach to wage increases? What do you think? Man, for me, look, I think California is already very employee-centric. So I think that their finance, Department of Finance is taking that into account already, and they have to balance it out. Yep. 
It just can't go tilt one way. It's, it's a fine line. Balance. I mean, you said it. It's a balance. Well, it's, on the, it's like a, on that balancing beam or the tightrope. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You have to balance it out and, it's, and, it, and you have to be meticulous with it and you have to do it in the right way because you lean one way too far to the right, you might fall. It might yep. cause something to break or yep. something to go awry. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I think that they're doing a good job. Agreed. Um, and look, there's, there's always, no matter what, there's no perfect process there's no perfect system as of yet right there's nothing perfect mm -hmm. yet maybe ai will help us get closer to that perfection but look there's always going to be something that can be done better in a better way and that's why i think i think that they're doing a good job i don't know if anything could be done to be more proactive about that what about you no i think that's the answer like i just looked up to see Oh, there are, okay, there's a, uh, 15 states and the District of Columbia index their minimum wage to inflation, meaning that the minimum wage increases automatically each year based on the cost of living. Mm. Okay. So there you go, California being one of them, and there's 14 others that do it as well. So that's interesting. Why doesn't every state do it? You know what I mean? So look. Now, with that being said, the average cost of living in California in 2024 is around $53,000 a year. Okay. So I know minimum wage, $16 an hour, that's about $33,000. So it takes two, look, it gotta be takes two, 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 yeah, two, two people. Two, yeah, yeah. Yo. Yo. Exactly. So two people should be able to do it. Girl. Um, yep. but yeah, I mean, I was out in Cali, re, uh, in the last few months as well. And same thing, I was talking to business owners and then they were like, man, I, you know, I wish my, my people could buy homes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But like, it's so expensive, this area and that area is so expensive. And, you know, it's, and that, and that's the case. A lot of places now, I think post pan, I think pandemic really messed it up. Although I am seeing like things turn to correct itself a mandate back to work and they're changing the, the folks is like, um, you know, a lot, well, the companies did it right away. Right. When they were like, oh, you want to, you moved without telling us, great. We're going to adjust your salary to where you moved to. Oh, it might work against them too. So against them. this is what I'm saying. Yeah, but right. People took a lot of liberties in the pandemic. They were like, oh, I'm moving yeah. across the country. I, I work remote now. Not even Come thinking, to the office? yeah, not even thinking that, Hey, it might be one day come back to the office. Yeah, there's a lot of auto correction for that, but look, I think they're doing the right thing. They, them and 14 other states are doing it right. Does it solve the problem? No. Th there's a part of me that believes that the American dream is built on always running for that carrot, right? The mm -hmm. carrot or the stick. And you say we're all constantly in the hamster wheel, huh? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. No matter and what. No matter what. And there are folks that break out of it, but yeah, you're, you're, you know, can you do that when it's just financial freedom and oh, yeah i heard that once you get a taste of that financial freedom you never want to go back i believe it yeah i believe it i believe it that's it folks check us out for the next one we're definitely going to do cali paycheck rules there are certain rules that folks should like there are things that have to be on california pay stubs other mm -hmm. states are not as strict so let, let's definitely touch that get that for the employees keep keep it to for that and till the next time we love you we love you peace. peace before we sign off here are a couple quick things don't forget to follow it's about payroll on linkedin and it's about your paycheck on facebook and tiktok thank you for being part of our payroll community and thank you for being a part of this journey with us until the next time keep learning keep growing and most importantly keep going